And we are all together on this horrible, painful, joyous, exciting, and mysterious ride that is being alive. The 2017 SAG Awards honored yet another year of televised and cinematic art. We're bringing you all the best moments. This episode of Newsfeed is brought to you by Intuit TurboTax. Relax, there's TurboTax. The SAG Awards are clearly focused on acting, but sometimes, I gotta say, when the actors are just being themselves, that's when the best moments are captured. And another round of actors were awarded for their craft tonight, and along with giving of accolades, came some prime moments that definitely deserve to be highlighted. Like, when everyone could not get enough of the Stranger Things kids, I know, shocker here, who isn't obsessed with these guys? But you gotta love when celebs fangirl over other celebs. Dasha Polanco from Orange is the New Black was not about to leave the stage without giving Millie Bobby Brown some love. And the cast of Captain Fantastic. Then as the cast of Stranger Things was making their way to the stage to accept their award for best ensemble in a drama series, Taraji P. Henson couldn't help but express her love. I mean, kids are cute and all, but Ellie Kemper just kept it real when she told her actor story. Six months ago, I gave birth to a beautiful baby boy, and he gave me my greatest role yet, the role of mom. I'm kidding. My greatest role is playing Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got me the free dinner. Sorry, James. I'm Ellie Kemper, and I'm next. I mean, hey, money doesn't make itself. One woman who knows a thing or two about hard work was this year's Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Lily Tomlin. Aside from being hilarious and making everyone in the room want to be her biffle, Lily offered some advice to the youngsters in the room. And don't be anxious about missing an opportunity. Behind every failure is an opportunity someone wishes they had missed. And the words of wisdom kept on flowing when she advised everyone to wear sunscreen, never leave the house drunk, listen to your friends, especially when they stop talking to you, and start talking about you. Beware of any enterprise that requires new clothing. Love your life so that one day when you are honored for your work, the people called upon to make remarks about you can be reasonably honest, otherwise their words might be perceived as alternative facts or fake news. And last, but arguably the most important, thank the people who helped get you to where you are. When it comes to award shows, everyone really tries their best to just not mess up, but every so often, one person does, and tonight's victim was none other than John Krasinski. The actor was on stage doing his little spiel before he had to introduce the nominees for a female actor in a supporting role, and then this happened. And as an actor, I was inspired by the strength the power and the dazzling talent of these five women. The nominees for female supporting actresses. And while John's love was cute and all, maybe he was just a little nervous or something, did you guys catch Winona Ryder's face when David Harbour accepted the cast's win for outstanding performance by an ensemble in a drama series? The already celebrated Stranger Things, but this award from you who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe, like me, that great acting can change the world is- Granted, her million different facial expressions were a little far out during David's very powerful speech about fighting against a lot of different things, but we seriously could not stop fixating on her face. Predominantly narcissistic culture and through our craft to cultivate a more empathetic and understanding society by revealing intimate truths that serve as a forceful- Yep, that definitely did happen. Speaking of powerful speeches, Taraji P. Henson gave an equally amazing and powerful one when she and the rest of the cast of Hidden Figures went up on stage to accept their award for Best Ensemble. The actress spoke on behalf of her co-cast and crew as they stood by her and delivered this inspiring line. This story is of unity. This story is about what happens when we put our differences yes. aside and we come together as a human race. We win. Love wins every time. Every time. And you guys, last but not least, we cannot forget the one moment that set the tone for the rest of the evening. And that was when Ashton Kutcher opened up the show 
with a very strong message regarding President Trump's Muslim ban. Fellow SAG-AFTRA members and everyone at home and everyone in airports that belong in my America, you are a part of the fabric of who we are, and we love you, and we welcome you. That is one way to kick off an award show. So friends, what was your favorite moment from the SAG Awards tonight? Let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. Thanks so much for hanging with me. I'm your girl, Jocelyn Davis. I'll see you next time. Before you go, click to the left to check out the best dressed celebs at the show, or click over to the right for the big winners of the night. This episode was brought to you by Intuit TurboTax with live on-demand help when you need it. Relax, there's TurboTax.